Ollie, you're a work holding specialist here at Hi4.shop or yeah. Hi4 Work Holding. Um, can you tell us about this Matrix product here? Because I know this is fairly new and what it does. Yeah, that's fine. At the moment, we've got the Matrix 125 jaws set on our standard Sprite device. At the moment, we've got the soft jaws from the Sprites that are on there, and then we've just machined them to be able to adapt the Matrix onto it. It's a fairly simple process. We've just drilled through the front just to be able to put some screws in there to the front. Um, so we've got, two, we've got two vices here. We've got a base vice and then a vice on top, um, right? What we've got is, we've got the Sprites device, which is a self-centering vice, and then on top we've got the Matrix jaws. So the Matrix itself is the jaws, and then you add the jaws onto your existing vice. Right, so it doesn't matter what vice you've got, you just no. buy the Matrix jaws and you can yeah. use them on any vice. As long as it's a standard vice and it's got a flat, as you can see there, you've got the corner on the angle, so you need to make sure that it's got a flat surface to actually latch on to. So why do I want a Matrix vice? What does, what does this do that others don't? And, the pin field on them are all controlled by springs and when you clamp it up it moulds around the shape of the component that's in there so you've got those awkward sort of shapes so like we've got the product that we've got in there at the moment it moulds around the actual shape of it so you can can we undo it. it yeah we can do yeah let me just uh, check on this side of things let me just clamp it around so as it pulls apart you'll be able to see that the pins are currently clamped and they're all moulded around the shape of the component that's in there what's what sort of gripping force do you get using this on the standard vice, on these 125s, I believe you can get a metric ton through these through these vices. So that part isn't going to move once it's no, clamped. it's complete. I'll show as we can see. I'll just clamp it back up in a minute, and we'll be able to see. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you can see there, the, the pins are all clamped up, and they've moulded exactly around the shape of the component that's in there. And then, so those pins are fixed now. Yes, they're fixed in that position, unless you unclamp it, and I can do that for you right now. And then the springs pop back into position, back so in place what, there. What's giving that clamping force, once it's in position, what, what's clamping it? Because you know, often you have your, 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 your pneumatics or your hydraulics, what, what mechanism is, is doing the clamping? You've got spring clamping behind it, so it's forcing through, and the springs lock to stop, that's what's stopping it from going. And then beside it, so obviously people complain about whether it's going to break or whether there's anything, the coolant flushing through it, but you've got your air lines that you've got on the sides, let me just pop it through there. Um, that you can pump air as a barrier for it. So as the coolant and the swarf's flying off it, it pushes the air against and trying to divert it away from the pin field itself. It's a bit like a purge as well. So yeah, you're getting rid, like getting rid of any contaminants in the working yeah, area exactly. at the same time. Push it away, yeah. Which is uh, which works out it's well thought out. Us. Yeah, they've, well, they've thought about everything from it. It's uh, quality German-made jaws that are. Uh, Let's put it back in. Let's put this casting back yeah, in. That's fine. Let me just unclamp this one as well, so we can do the full scale. So it's going to pop in there, and then as the jaws close, they're going to mould into shape of it. Pop that through there. Just keep the ratchet in shape. Obviously, with this part, it's a bit awkward trying to put it through and keep it in the right shape. But Remi that's where you could obviously use your own intuition. And Reminds me of one of those things I used to have as a child where you stuck <laughs> your side of your face or your nose in it. Yes. It? Well, actually, I can get the brochure for you actually now, and uh, it actually shows it in there that that's where it came from where you used to mould the pin fields that you used to mould your face onto and it shape around it. Um, actually in Germany, the gentleman who actually created the devices and the jaws actually thought about it. And I'm sorry, let me just... That's uh, okay, keep going, you keep properly. going. Otherwise I'll end up... That's fine. ...doing too many things at once. We, we don't need to see that picture in the brochure. I'm, I'm sure our viewers will, will get what we're uh, oh. sort of angling at. But it is a very unique product, this is. I can see this being a big seller for you, but you do have to be doing and looking to do sort of irregular shape parts. Yes. I mean, it's aimed more towards pre-production and um, prototyping. But I mean, there are various different industries that it's useful in. Do, do, do these pins come in different diameters depending on the, the you know, if you've got different parts yes. with different cavities there's and different, shapes? There are different sizes of pin fields that it can do, different variations, different number of pins, and there's also side supports that you can get for the machines as well. So say if you've got an overhang on the edge of your jaws, that you can clamp it on the side to stop vibrations from going through the part as well. And because you're buying the jaws uh, and adding them to a vice, do they go much wider? Um, you can get the 125, 100, and they go smaller. So we've also got the X Clamp 40 on display on the other one today. But, uh, there's no, there's no reason why or restriction why you couldn't put two, three side by side and use yeah. all pins in conjunction with each other. I mean, there are quite a few companies out there that have got multiples like three, four jaws because they come in sets. You can buy and add them up and stack them however you like to. So I mean, I have seen one specifically where you've got turbochargers for a car engine that have been padded up with three different ones and clamped up to hold them in different shapes. Very novel. Thanks, Ollie. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you.